In this video, this male has the normal highly modified antenna. He approaches from behind and jumps on the back of the female with his antennae open. Then he clasps the antennae around her head. With the antennae in place, he pulls the female backward to fl flip her. Both male and female are now upside down, continuing to struggle. He then starts whipping his long legs to neutralize the female's attempts to extract herself before he flips her back again to normal posture. Finally, he uses his crooked rear legs to bring female's body closer to his own, and at this point, the female sees it struggling and both are ready to copulate. The antennae stay in place on the female's head until copulation starts. In this male here, the gene distalis responsible for generating the, uh, the grasping structures has been manipulated not completely to remove these grasping structures, but just to reduce them. In this case, the male succeeds in clasping and flipping the female, but after a brief struggle, she manages to extract her head from the grip of his antennae and skates away. And finally, in this last video, now this, in this male, the gene distalis has been largely silenced, so the male antennae no longer contain the structures used to grasp the head of the female. He will approach and jump on the female from behind just like normal males would. He will also clasp his antennae around the head of the female, but when he pulls back to, flip, to flip the female, his clasping antennae fail and he gets propelled alone backwards by his own momentum, and the female scales away. 